The Coalfield Cup is next, as we nip across the Coalfield, and we've got a big field for this one, and we might get one or two hard luck stories wide on the track as well. As I'm sure we will from the last race. This is a Group 1 handicap, so wide open these Group 1 handicaps, and it's a mile and a half, and own reflections at the top for Craig Allen, Oceans of Ages, Darren Thompson, Kinshasa, for Satyam, Kivalti, for Paul Rhodes, Jane Burden, Martin Linham, all Leans, Paul Rhodes, Funny Angel, David Hooley, Priscilla Assertive, Graham Clutterbuck, Time to Shine, Craig Beckwith, Out of Control, Obi-Wan, Kings Hall, Leon Van Rensburg, The Bunty, for David Robertson, Anna Livia, Padre Hogan, Bells Vereen, Thomas Rogers, The Grey Gatsby, Dan Hughes, Arabian Knight, Padre Hogan, Born Infanta, James Shea, Star Lord, Joshua Sutherland, and Lion Star for Alex Cherry. So 19 then. Big old field for this Coalfield Cup. And Australia's day in the spotlight for SO7. And all installed and ready to go. And away they go. One or two of these wide are going to have to try and get across as fast as they can or do what the Craig Beckwith horse is doing. And that's drop back and cut across that way and then hope for a clear run through. But it's Kinshasa and Born Infanta are disputing the lead with Kivorsky and all leans. But it's going to be Kinshasa, I think, who's going to get the lead. Although Kivorsky doesn't want to give up that rail. Born Infanta is third. They're past the post in there with a circuit to go. The front three are clear of Oceans of Ages and all leans. Then out of control. King's Hall is next. Then Funny Angel and Star Lord Jane Burden's close up there's a bunch of greys in the second wave with the one down on the rail being Bells Vereen the back marker early on is Lion Star but it's Kin Shasha that's got the lead then by about three quarters of a length to Born in front of second gap of two lengths then back to Kivorsky who's in third then out of control coming round the outside Orleans is there Funny Angel's well placed then King's Hall Star Lord is next Jane Burden is well positioned Own Reflection starting to make a move round the outside also coming wide out Olivia with a bit of a run and also the Bunty is there as well the great Gatsby under pressure looking towards the back Arabian Knight has now dropped back to be the back marker but it's Kin Shasha who's got the lead from Born in front to second Gap of three then to Kivorsky out of control and Oceans of Ages then King's Hall and Orleans and then Funny Angel Star Lord's going to pull around the outside. Jane Burden's trying to go with that one. Own Reflection is chasing them. Priscilla Assertive has got a nice run up the inside if he can get through, but it's now Born Infanta who's hit the lead. Born Infanta's gone on by a length. Kinshasa, though, pulled around the outside to come through to challenge again. Kivorsky is running on well in third. Jane Burden coming around the outside of out of control. Here comes Orleans, Kings Hall, Star Lord, Oceans of Ages. Bit of a gap back then to Funny Angel and the Bunty have got to run on. Three and a half furlongs to go then in the Coalfield Cup, and it's Born Infanta on the inside who's in the lead from Kinshasa in second Orleans is next Kivorsky's after that one then Kings Hall Jane Burden on the outside out of control running a big race for Obi-Wan the Bunty the Grey switches to the outside and Oceans of Ages is still there Arabian Knights running on from nowhere but it's Born Infanta who's in the lead two to go Born Infanta from Kivorsky and Kings Hall these are being chased by Star Lord out of control Kinshasa Orleans Jane Burden on the outside but it's Born Infanta who's got first run but now being chased by Star Lord out of control and Jane Burden as they're inside the final three quarters of a furlong and it's Star Lord is in the front but here comes out of control on the outside this could be a big one for Obi-Wan it's Star Lord and out of control Star Lord's hanging on it's Star Lord takes it out of control his second morning fans for own reflection for still assertive King's Hall and then Jane Burden and Oceans of Ages and all the way back to Mel Vereen. and a thrilling Goldfield Cup goes to Joshua Sutherland who just hung on I thought Obi-Wan was going to get a big payday he couldn't quite reel the leader in, and Star Lord takes it for Joshua Sutherland. Out of control for Obi Wan second. Born in Fanta for James Shea was third. Own reflection for Craig Allen was fourth, and Priscilla Assertive for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth. <laughs>